Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and weather is threatening so cross your fingers and say a prayer we don't get rained out. I have a container, I'm going to put some paint in there, I'm going to put whatever paint in there will come out and then I'm going to think about shoveling it out. I still didn't clear the top on that and it looks like it's already been mixed. Alright, so we're going to have a 24 karat Deco Art Americana gold dominant and I'm putting some black enamel in there because I can. The same name as my book on the Amazon link, underneath the link tree, underneath the video. Here's some Arteza brown just because. This is going to be a nightscape to a degree because I'm going to play with, I think I'm going to play with the Northern Lights colors and the sky. All my bottles plugged up while I went inside. I can still get some colors out, fortunately. I don't want to go overboard because I'm not sure I'll be out here for very long after that. I really, why do I keep getting called white? Maybe silver is a better idea. I think so. And it's open. I like that idea. I even like that com I liked it till it stopped flowing. <laughs> it's par for the course. Let me grab a skewer that's not attached to five other skewers. I do wash them, but uh, it doesn't matter because paint sticks. Okay, there is a lot of built up stuff inside the cone of that. So I'm just going to give myself permission. And I like the reaction. I can see all kinds of cool stuff happening in there. Yeah, that's still not clear. I want it clear because I think I might want to use some more of it too. Oh well, we'll give it a shot. I know I'm taking too much time. At least for me. You guys are just fast forwarding ahead to when something actually happens. Okay. So, now, I've got my pan of colors and I'm going to put, it, put that aside. And then I'm going to bring some black over here. If I can find it. There it is. Oh, okay. Just Artist Loft Black, an OXO omelet turning spatula. Let's make sure I have my colors that I want for my sky. There we go. One, two, three. How about, yes, that's gonna, that's not open either. Okay then. That's irritating. <laughs> I can't help it. They don't just get lumps in the tip. They get, uh, they get smaller and smaller and smaller until the tiniest particle goes in there. So I want to bring this toward me in an attempt to make that a wet area for the sky before adding my colors. And I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm really interested to find out. I want to use the same spatula, but I don't want the black on there anymore, so I'm going to use my dampened studio rag. Hopefully. It's been so wet here for days, I don't even think this dried overnight. I'm not sure I dried it today at all. Okay, so. This is me getting frisky with paint. Hopefully, we'll get lucky. And the spatula swiping will work. That is the DecoArt Berry Metallic. I think I want some of, yep, there might be too much, too much color here, but I, we're not going to find out until I go for it. Alright, I'm going to knock off my spatula over the edge. 
I don't think there's going to be anything on the top edge. That's my northern lights. You guys see that? That's pretty cool. I like it. It is what it is. Let me look at my pan of colors. Make sure I'm happy with them. I think I might want to put some more copper in there. I think I might want to put some white in there. Don't ask me why. Maybe it's a northern scape. Not only am I going to just put that white in there, I'm going to stir it around so it becomes more mixed. <laughs> that spatula is going in the bucket. You can find those I said on the link tree on the Amazon link. And if you shop there, I know what it costs you and it helps me out. And I really appreciate you guys who have not just contributed through PayPal and Patreon, but those of you who shop the Amazon link. Now, where's my shovel? Do I want some more black paint down below to make that flow? Am I worried about it? Maybe I want some white. Strangely enough, I'm thinking, why not clay? I'm going to have plenty of color. that go right over the edge. I kind of like the black negative space that's left there. That wasn't a plan, but it might be another time. So let's see what happens right now before. This is a 24 inch canvas, so I need a longer edge catcher. I'll be right back. I'll be mining for edge catchers in the pile. They do stick together quite nicely. All right, I got one. Let's get that shovel handle out of my way. I'm thinking, it's weird, but I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking that if I use a shorter edge catcher on just the end that's gonna work over here, that might not be a bad place to start. And everything can flow across. I can cover that edge and flow it back again because there's not nearly as much paint on the other side. I'm so tempted. Oh, yeah, it's on my hand though. This, these paintings are nice. The 12 by 24s are nice because there's a stretcher bar in the middle of the back and you can hold right onto it. Where's the short one I just had? <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, here's another short one. see what comes this way. Really liking that black negative space. Kind of wish I had primed the canvas black first. Just letting it go. Nice long stripey colorful nightscape landscape patterns. Once it hits over here I can move my edge catcher I can rock. I can move it down. I can let my paint pool as much as possible. We'll see how much of it's going to wind up on my hand. I can shuffle that right back off, let it pour across again, keep some of that negative space. Maybe, maybe not. Once I get it over here, that puddle can go up again and back over. And I think I'm going to like this, plain and simple. So this is Priscilla Fetzel saying thank you very much for sharing my videos. I really appreciate that. This is my Northern Lights. I do sell my artwork, and if you use the hashtag in the title of any video, you'll help me find what you're looking for faster. And my email address is directly below the Linktree link. I don't know exactly what that looks like, and I definitely think I might want to put something on the bottom. I don't even mind this weird area over here. I say that, you know, but then <laughs> it's not always true. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, and my recipe is below the video, but I've started to change my recipe a little bit. As long as you use that recipe, you're fine. I actually think that the GAC 800 is less expensive than the Deco Art Pouring Medium, so that's pretty much what I've been doing. I'm just using a skewer. 
to drag through. And I'm probably going to use a skewer to fill in. I might even grab a little bit of that paint. I'm going to torch. I want to cover my bottom edge. Looks like I've got a gap in my my scenario over here. Right, there we go. A little finger manipulation. Never hurt anything. Let's do this. Let's give it a little topographical adjustment. There, I don't mind that at all. Alright, so I love you guys. There's almost 88,000 of you, and I'm very happy that you're here. I appreciate your comments endlessly. Thank you so much. Thank you for, and I very much appreciate your donations that have helped keep me painting all this time. I'm really tempted to just drip that paint right down there, but since I'm a paint saver, I'm going to drip it down onto an edge catcher for the most part. And then I'm going to torch, and then we'll be done. That, if all goes as I expect it to, that ought to just cover the bottom just perfectly. It hardly matters what it looks like since it's the bottom. But paint flows to paint, so as long as it's down there, dripping over, it'll probably fill right in. I'm going to torch. I should probably check on that, right? <laughs> uh, it's not completely filled in. But there's enough paint next to the paint that hasn't filled in or the area that hasn't filled in. So I can just stick my finger right in it. Still got some nice patterns. Created some nice texture in the foreground. I am going to torch like I said I was going to. I should grab a crib sheet. I want to make sure you guys know that on my YouTube channel you can find PayPal and Patreon links on the channel header on the bottom, excuse me, on the, on the header that's above, in the bottom right hand corner those icons also on the link tree and if you are a contributor to help me keep painting at the studio you will be able to see what that month's prizes are for the contributors in the monthly drawing that is included on the exhibition video the prizes are included on the exhibition video yeah right on the end screens of any video I change them I bulk edit every month love my my tube buddy and I think we're pretty much done so I have 1400 videos organized by genre topic and the hundred on my playlists on all playlists and then creative playlists thank you guys for the thumbs up i really appreciate it um thank you for the comments for sure check the teespring clothing under the video for leggings and all over print t-shirts and um check your subscription net notifications if you want to they come they go <laughs> you might want to check um all notifications is important but authorizing them on your computer is also pretty much the only way to make sure you get them. So I love you guys. I think I might have said there's almost 88,000 subscribers. I'm sure I forgot to mention Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation is for students, and you can see today's video listed there often. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more will take you to fineartamericanpixels.com, also on the Linktree link. And that's where you can shop for face masks or for about Oh, I don't know, a thousand other products for every product. They just keep dividing and dividing, and you can find them easily. When you go there, scroll down on the page to see what you're looking for. And um, I will see you guys anon. I'm sure I forgot something, but uh, I'll mention it in another video. Northern Lights. Cool. Love you guys. Cooler. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Well, sort of out. Sort of, kind of. I want to zoom in for you. It's different colors, but it's kind of cool too.